hey what's up guys welcome back in this video I'm going to show you how to import your own image data set for your deep learning project so many people had this issue like how do I import my own custom image data set for my deep learning project and I was one of them I researched and found out very few packages for this I didn't like how they work so I created my own package for this let us see how the package works here is the explanation for it install the package by running the command pip install winz imdata importer this will install uh, this package in your pc now let us see how to use it from winz imdata importer import imdata importer okay so this function will return three variables that is x y m uh, let us take a look at these variables later now let us see what are the parameters the function is going to accept function is going to accept only one parameter that is path of main folder so this is the main folder main folder is the one in which we have all the subfolders okay so here these subfolders are the categories so here for example i have taken dogs cats birds this folder contains the images of dogs this folder contains the images of cats this folder contains the images of birds okay you can have as many folders as you want here okay give these folders a meaningful name because uh, these uh, names will be mapped after the execution okay so this is the main folder inside which we have subfolders these are the categories okay just provide the full path of this main function main folder inside this function okay now x will hold the image data y will hold the index value of categories and am it's a dictionary will hold the mapping of categories and their particular index value okay now let us install install this package so here i am in command prompt because i am using windows if you are using mac os you might want to go to terminal okay and type the same command pip install winz hyphen im im sorry img im data hyphen importer this will install uh, this package inside your pc and it will also install the dependent uh, dependent uh, libraries as well you don't have to worry about it uh, now uh, it is showing requirement already satisfied because i have already installed my package okay now let us go to jupyter notebook and uh, import the package from winz underscore im data underscore importer import im data importer okay now let us initialize three variables x y and m and call this function we are initializing three variables because this function will return three variables okay now this function will accept the path of main folder so here is the main folder what i want you to do is go inside this main folder and copy this full path okay don't just copy this path because uh, this is not inside the main folder we should go inside this main folder and then copy this full path okay and pass this inside this function it should be in a string okay and if you are using windows os you might want to give double slash if you are using mac os then uh, by default uh, the uh, slash will be in forward for uh, the it will be a forward slash so it is not going to uh, have an issue if you are using windows os you might want to give double slash okay now let us execute this okay before executing let us take a look at the signature so this is the signature uh, which will tell you the documentation so accepts only one parameter that is path of main folder okay we have provided the path of main folder after generating the data the output will be returned in a tuple x train y train mapping which contains x train categories y train labels and mapping it's a dictionary which maps the categories and their index value how to execute is shown below so you might wanna uh, so it says you should uh, uh, 
initialize three variables and call the function and provide the path okay Add x hold Im x holds image data y holds the index value of categories and mapping will hold the category and their particular index value all right now let us execute this so it will ask few questions uh, you might want to choose yes or no based on your data set so do you want to convert your image data to grayscale first let us uh, pick no and uh, later on we will execute this function once more and that time we will select yes okay do you want to convert your image data to grayscale i'll say no hit enter it will ask one more question do you want to resize your data yes or no default 100 cross 100 so i'm i'm okay with 100 cross 100 and let us hit enter generating shuffling and mapping the data do you want to normalize your data yes or no it's recommended it says okay normal uh, normalization is basically the scaling scaling will be done uh, because your uh, model will learn better okay so uh, there is no harm in normalizing so i'll just uh, pass y yes i want to normalize now it asks do you want to save your data yes or no will be saved using pickle i'll say no i don't want to save your data if your data set is big i recommend you to save the data because uh, uh, if your kernel uh, fails all of a sudden then uh, you don't have to do this all over again because uh, to be on safer side you can save your data set i'm not going to save because my data set is pretty small uh, it has only four categories that's why okay hit enter now we have successfully imported our own custom image data set for your deep learning project now let us take a look at these each variables one by one so let us see what m has so m has this dog initialized with zero fish initialized with one koala initialized with two lizard initialized with three okay now let us import matplotlib Ma import matplotlib dot pi dot pi plot as plt plt dot im show okay I'll, I'll create one more variable called index and i will pass initially one okay im show x of let us see what it has in first index x of one so uh, i guess it's a fish and let us see y of index as well so it it shows category one so here uh, fish is one now let us choose for different index index 2 okay i'll i am passing one here uh, you should pass index okay y of index okay now in index we have this koala bear and uh, we got answer is 2 so 2 2 is initialized with uh, koala okay now let us try for one more uh, 3 and uh, this is a pick of dog 0 and here we can see we have a uh, dog initialized with zero okay now let us uh, execute this one more and uh, once more and we will uh, say yes this time do you want to convert your image data to grayscale i'll say yes do you want to resize your data i'll say yes and it it will ask me to enter the size i'll give uh, um, 60 do you want uh, again uh, shuff uh, generating shuffling and mapping is done do you want to normalize your data uh, this time i'll say no and do you want to save your data no uh, so the mapping will be same now let us execute this uh, since uh, this uh, has shuffled once again now the it will it will show the different image if i print uh, image of index so i think this is a lizard so three we got three so lizard is mapped with three <coughs> let us try for different index so i'll give five and uh, for five we have uh, i think uh, it's a fish image of fish so fish is initialized with one all right so this is the code for uh, this package so it's a pretty big code so everything is taken care of so you don't have to worry about it I'll, uh, and there is one more uh, function called author and uh, if you execute this it will uh, uh, show you my name 
uh, you can try it by yourself i'm not going to execute this one you can try it by yourself and yeah you can go ahead and you uh, start using my uh, package for your deep learning project so to install this pip install winzy hyphen im data hyphen importer okay and uh, if you type this in inside your terminal or command prompt this will install my package in your pc and you can start using this way using it in this way okay you can you should uh, initialize three variables and call the im data importer and then pass the path of main function uh, main folder so main folder is this one and you have to answer enter inside this main folder and provide this path okay this path and then the uh, put one more slash in uh, in front of uh, the slash okay so that's because of uh, we are using windows os if you are using mac then uh, by default it will be uh, forward slash so it is not going to cause any problem okay it will be like this okay so we have uh, seen everything uh, so x will hold uh, the um, image uh, image uh, uh, array and uh, y will hold the uh, value and x will uh, m will map the uh, values with that category okay so this is how you import uh, your own custom image data set for your deep learning project i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a, uh, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to install my package and i will see you in the next one until next time take care bye